Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your July 2023 mid-month general reading. We are looking at the last half of July 2023 and this reading is for the fire sign of Leo. I hope everyone's doing well. Thanks for being here, for watching all of these videos on my channel. Uh, those of you who reach out for personal readings and refer and recommend. Uh, those of you who hit that like, share button, subscribe. Uh, please hit that like button. It really does help. And uh, thank you. So, Leo, if your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is in Leo, this video is for you. If you are cross-watching for a Leo, this video is also relevant to general reading, which means that, of course, it'll resonate just a little differently for everyone. So if you know your sun, moon, rising, Venus, watch those videos as well for any additional insight. Now, if you find that something really does touch you, it really does resonate, you'd like to perhaps reach out and take a deeper look at something, uh, a personal reading for yourself or as a gift for someone else, please feel free to email me at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. You can also see that contact info by clicking the title of this video or the description link. I would love to hear from you and I can usually get back to you the same day with more information. I do offer a pretty wide variety of choices for readings in all areas of life. Um, and the personal readings are pretty accurate as well. And uh, scheduling of the personal readings is done in a fairly timely fashion too, as this is all I do full time. So if you're interested, please email me. All right, let's move right into this reading, Leo, and see what the last half of July 2023 looks like for you using the Tarot of Dreams and clarifying with the Radiant Rider weight. We begin with the Two of Cups soulmates, best friends, kindred spirits, partnership with the three of cups, another card representing kindred spirits, best friends, your tribe, strong social energy around this or positive social connections in your community. You may be meeting a, some of you may be meeting a soulmate or a kindred spirit. Um, at a celebration or a party of some kind. I am getting an outdoor gathering for some of you. Uh, it may be within your friendship circle, within your tribe, your group, or within your uh, kind of regular social community. For others of you who are not looking for new love and romance, it may be that, or for those of you who are connected, it may be that um, you attend a party or a social gathering or celebration of some kind which is showing up as relevant for the last half of July. Uh, could be a birthday celebration for those of you who are July Leos. Next we have the King of Cups which will sit right next to that Two of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Showing up as a king, but in a general reading could be female as well. This is likely the other person or a person who's showing up as relevant. The king of cups is the king of water of emotion. So he's uh, pretty emotionally intelligent, grown up, very in touch and aware of his own emotions and the emotions of the people around him. A good source of support, feedback, love. With the King of Cups, we have the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is traditionally a card that represents feeling, you know, kind of held back mentally because Swords is governed by the element of air, which governs our intellectual landscape, how we look at things, how we see things, our perspectives. So this is a card that represents someone who feels they can't move forward or can't change something because of whatever the Swords represent, fill in the blank. I feel like this may have been a prior thing, though. This King of Cups may have felt like they couldn't come in and pursue you or see if you were interested. And you can reverse this. It might be you towards this person because of something, and we'll clarify it. Next, we have the Knight of Swords, a very action-oriented knight. This is about being decisive and taking action, moving forward. Knights represent offers and opportunities and the speed at which situations move. Knights take the knowledge and information they gained as pages and messages that they gained as pages and then as knights they begin to move forward and manifest things. So the page of swords would have been our spire, our information gatherer and now he's taking that information and charging forward or she is charging forward 
uh, to begin manifesting something. And this is also a card of active conversation, but it's a card about being decisive and action oriented. And coming after the Eight of Swords, I kind of like seeing that because it represents someone, whether it's this other person or you, that may have felt held back by something. Um, but perhaps because of what they've learned or what they've done or seen you learn and do, they are now moving forward. With that, <laughs> with that Knight of Swords, we have the Wheel of Fortune. It is divine timing and orchestration. Even in the reverse, the Wheel of Fortune is good, but it can represent timing issues. It's just not quite time yet. But in the upright position, it does represent um, good luck and good fortune happening now. This is moving forward pretty quickly. From the, bo from the bottom of the deck, <laughs> the overall energy for you, Leo, for the last half of July is the sun, the most positive card in the tarot, especially in how it affects all the other cards. Because, you know, when the real sun comes out, it shines on everything. It illuminates, it brings illumination, clarity, it uplifts any previously heavier, restrictive energies, light, love, warmth, laughter. Um, beautiful beautiful energy so the sun also acts as a boost to any positive energy cards and it can act as a lessener or a negator of any um, challengingly aspected cards or energies here as well what a beautiful reading let's clarify a little bit let's clarify the overall energy of the sun The Two of Cups again, soulmates, kindred spirits, positive social connections in your community. Definitely some great party energy there. Again, I feel like for some of you, there's a social event or social gathering in the last half of some of July that's going to be particularly relevant. You'll be meeting someone, two of you possibly will be meeting somebody that may make a, a difference again if you're already partnered with someone. Um, I mean, this doesn't have to read as love and romance, but it, it, that's how it's coming across to me, and that's what I'm connecting with the most. We do have that Two of Cups twice. Um, with that Two of Cups for overall energy with the sun, we have the magician. The magician is the manifester of the tarot. He is the entrepreneur of the tarot. This is somebody who knows how to combine the energy of all the elements because of the long road he's walked and learning how to do that. He's learned how to combine the energies from all of the elements excuse me, in order to manifest what he wants into physical reality. It's not just enough to have that water emotional energy or each of the other individual elemental energies. It's about using those all together in a balanced way with the work to actually make something happen. So um, whether it's you seeking a soulmate, soulmate seeking you, you with a partner seeking something else, some other important connection here, it is you, you've manifested this. Or the other side has manifested this. Some of you are just flat out manifesting a soulmate during this time. Let's clarify the Two of Cups. With that Three of Cups, Two of Cups. <sighs> King of Cups again, Wheel of Fortune again. What beautiful clarification here. Soulmate, kindred, spirit, energies, divine timing and orchestration, and that King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, for, for, for many of you, this King of Cups is who represents your soulmate, whether they're Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign, or they just manifest like the King of Water, the King of Cups. For others of you, this King of Cups is extremely important to you he might be, uh, he or she might be the person that's connecting you with uh, your soulmate or kindred spirit. Or for those of you who are already partnered, bringing some other kind of opportunity into you. Let's clarify that three of cups, kindred spirits, parties, social energy, community. The six of cups, a card of history. Uh, traditionally, the Six of Cups is a card of history, nostalgia, reminiscing. It's a card that represents 
an already established connection or history with you and a person place situation so with the three of cups these are old friends old lovers old i mean it doesn't have to be old going all the way back to childhood or 20 years back but this is a, a place it, it, for some of you this is going to be again a party a social event of some kind with people that you are already connected with people you are familiar with people you have a history with the ace of swords here um, it's a card of a new perspective seeing something in a new light it may be for some of you that this new soulmate connection is someone you have known for some time and you're seeing them in a completely different light because of for some reason wheel of fortune divine timing and orchestration or they're seeing you in a completely different light There's some new insight or perspective coming in. Clarify King of Cups. <laughs> the Knight of Swords again. How many repeating cards do we have? The Two of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Cups, the Knight of Swords. I mean, it's like... Uh, verification here so there's definitely a conversation going on with this king of cups the ace of cups new love and romance opening the heart up again the heart beginning to open up again being open to love the four of wands another card that speaks of of celebratory activities too um surprise encounters uh happy surprises sometimes connected with social events uh, originally, this card was meant to uh, imply the anticipatory excitement we get when preparing for a social event of some kind. It's one of the traditional wedding cards. Again, meeting somebody at a party, a social event, a gathering. And this, this social event or gathering might have a specific reason like somebody's getting married or there's a specific celebration of some kind or it might be an informal let's get together have a barbecue something like that it's also a wedding card and and with the ace of cups this is somebody who's who's ready for love they're opening their heart up for love they're wanting you to open your heart uh, up for love and for some of you um, they want to get married they want this this kind of happy home home stability and harmony uh, with you. Let's clarify that Eight of Swords. Five of Swords and Seven of Swords. So this is kind of fighting your own battles here. This is kind of maybe fighting a secret battle or fighting a battle behind the scenes or one that other people don't know about and having to come to perhaps a difficult but painful conclusion. Um, that means you have to walk away from a situation or a person because the Five of Swords represents a hard-won victory and that victory might cost you relationships or people or something of some kind. Um, strategizing here, yeah. So. I feel like this person may have already may have been connected in the past and they needed to let go of that connection in order to pursue with you. They may have been waiting for you to let go of what they saw as some kind of prior relationship or prior connection. The, the, the energy here is that previous that they needed to make sure that you that them or maybe a combination of both of you were truly free from some kind of past connection before they could approach you let's clarify the knight of swords definitely conversation going on here Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, stability, earth here, putting the work in, building something solid, stable, long lasting, step by step, a sure and steady thing. This person is really um, coming forward 
with, for those of you seeking new love and romance or open to new love and romance or new love and romance is coming in for you, this is somebody who really wants to build something long lasting, lifelong, stable. Um, now for others of you, it may be um, a potential work collaboration, particularly those of you who are already paired with someone or it could be a soulmate coming in that isn't romantically based, but kind of a kindred spirit best friend with that you may be meeting at, uh, again, a party, a social event of some kind, and they want to work together. They may be making a, an actual work offer, career work offer with you or offering to um, collaborate together with you. Could be that for some of you. Love and romance, definitely for the rest of you. Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. the tower, an unexpected event which jolts everything, shakes everything right down to the ground. The Three of Wands, the Ace of Wands, somebody who's put the footwork in and has manifested a new beginning. <laughs> I, I, this is like, it's going to blow you away. That's kind of what I'm feeling with this energy. This is like heaven sent opportunity coming in in a completely unexpected way, which is interesting because that Four of Wands is unexpected unexpected events happy surprises unexpected connections as well again don't turn down any invitations to go to any parties or social gatherings for this period of time leo because something something is coming in something is happening that's really just going to blow your socks off in a completely unexpected way even after seeing this video all right what an absolutely spectacular reading. Let us end with any advice, guidance, feedback, messages from Spirit for Leo for the last half of July 2023. For some of you, I'm getting a distinct message, maybe for a small group of you, to not be afraid to let go of something that's already done and dead in order to move forward into a beautiful new beginning, which in your heart of hearts you have manifested, whether you know it or not. All right, any final messages, guidance, advice, feedback from Spirit? The Knight of Cups. Make the offer or accept that offer of love, support, encouragement, whatever this offer is coming in. The Eight of Wands. Sooner rather than later. This is fast movement, action forward, powerful communication. Sometimes Cupid Arrows. The Fool, a brand new life cycle starting, stepping out into the unknown, taking a risk, a leap of faith. Divine timing and orchestration is strongly at play here. Well, I'm going to leave it there, Leo, an absolutely extraordinary, uh, fantastic reading for you. I'm very happy for you. And again, happy birthday to those of you who are July Leos. That is your messages for the last half of July 2023, Leo. I hope you enjoyed it and found it relevant and helpful. Again, if you did and you'd like to take a deeper look at something, reach out for a personal reading with me um, or as a gift for someone else. Personal readings do make great gifts because, well, they're so personal and so accurate. But if you're interested in any of that or just information about it, please feel free to email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. You can also see that contact info by clicking the title of this video or the description of it. I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the August general readings. Until then, stay safe and well. Hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.